What's the toxic part about coffee, you might ask? <laughs> yeah. That will be acrylamide. We, we are, are the STEMinistas. We, we educate, educate the, the public, public about science and the news. So California's done it again. Again. This time, they're banning our precious liquid coffee. <laughs> They've recently put bans on plastic bags, on internal combustion engines. Where are they going to stop? Plastic bags. I know. I mean, I, mean, I try to use those reusable ones sometimes. Right. It's like, sometimes you just need a plastic bag. Yeah, you do. So the reason why they're trying to ban coffee is because of this Proposition 65. Proposition 65 is a law in California that states businesses have to give um, clear and present warning to their customers mm -hmm. if there's something toxic in anything they're selling in like food or beverages. So um, what's the toxic part about coffee, you might ask? <laughs> yeah. That will be acrylamide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, so, my precious coffee. Yeah, so no doubt acrylamide is bad news. Like it's also found in cigarette smoke and it's definitely a carcinogen, meaning that it's been shown to cause cancer. However, it's also found in all sorts of normal things that you ingest in much smaller quantities. Like, do you eat French fries? I do. Yeah, I enjoy me them too. a lot. I like good French fries. Every time you're eating those delicious French fries, you're also ingesting some acrylamide. Ugh. So what else is acrylamide found in just besides like french fries? All sorts of stuff from cereal to meats. Mm -hmm. So acrylamide is actually produced when, um, during the cooking process um, through this chemical reaction called the Mallard reaction where um, sugars in the food are reacting with certain proteins to produce this acrylamide. So it'll happen anytime you're browning meat through either roasting or frying and um, making other food products too, so it's found in like cereal. Wow. I think when I was reading some stuff about acrylamide, the interesting thing that I found is like in these rodent studies, they gave them like these mice a thousand times dose of normal caffeine. Yeah. Which so, is crazy. I mean, I don't think many humans are going to go out and have like a thousand cups of coffee a day. No. You would have a heart attack. <laughs> you would probably die. <laughs> Too much caffeine to your system. And don't take that as a challenge. No, <laughs> this is not a coffee challenge. We're not starting this. <laughs> so I think that's one of the issues with this ruling is that they're not actually looking at the quantity of um, acrylamide that you're actually inject mm -hmm. ingesting or the actual exposure that you'll be getting from this acrylamide, which is very different from those ruined cities where mm. they use a thousand times the dose. Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard to test for acrylamide in humans, too, because, I mean, I don't think if it's at such low amounts, it's probably going to be hard to measure by, like, a blood test or something. So I don't even know what they use to measure it, but I'm sure it's not very accurate if we have yeah. such low levels of acrylamide right. in us. Right. So it seems like with every food that comes out or new is bad, it's like, oh, it causes cancer or it cures cancer or eat this chocolate and you will live forever and have no hard issues and yeah and then you see some things like coffee people go back and forth like yeah. it's good for you it's bad for you it improves your cognition and it reduces the risk of mm -hmm. depression but now it causes cancer yeah so i think it can be really confusing for consumers i think it's different for everyone too like if i have coffee like right early in the morning mm -hmm. i can't pipette anything because my hand's like shaking and i'm like uh yeah and I can't focus very well. But I know some friends right. that need coffee like to function. Right, and that change in your DNA um, causes some people to be able to break down caffeine a mm -hmm. lot faster than others. So coffee can affect different people very differently. But I mean, for all these things that come out saying that coffee's bad for you, mm -hmm. there are a ton of health benefits with coffee. Yeah, definitely. Coffee's been shown to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes mm -hmm. um, and certain cancers, such as liver cancer. Even though you may get some little bit of acrylamide from coffee, we still think it's worth it to drink it. Because, I mean, how could you how could you let this sweet nectar go out of your life? But, I mean, if you're drinking coffee three or four times a day and you're putting cream and sugar in it, then that's definitely going to maybe add to your risk of cancer because cancer is fueled by sugar. Mm. So, But if you're just drinking black coffee in moderation... Yeah, I think that's the key here, most things in moderation. Yeah. So if you have any more questions about coffee or other food items you wonder if you can eat or if you should eat. Yeah. Feel free to leave those in the comments and follow us 
here and subscribe and keep drinking. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs>